You know what? It has been cooler than average on some days this month, but then we've had twice as many days of 90 degrees or more. So when you average that out, we are above where we normally would be for the month of June. Our average temperature so far this month, 72.6. So that's about a degree and a half above average. But last year, last June was even warmer than that. The difference is that we've had big ups and downs this year, four days of 90 plus. 2020, we only had two. By the time the month is over, we're going to add to that list of 90 degree plus temperatures, whether we like it or not. Today we got up to 83, not too bad. Newark a little bit warmer, 85. Notice Kennedy and Islip cooler there. It was in the upper 70s to around 80 degrees. And the wind direction plays a big factor here as to who warms up in our area and who stays on the cooler side. When you have a predominantly west wind this time of year, everyone gets the benefit of the heat, if that's what you're looking forward to. That southerly fetch starts to bring in some ocean influence to the city, but out toward the beaches, that's where you really get that ocean influence and it really caps those temperatures. So JFK got in on that today. When the wind comes more out of the east, then JFK really cools down and you have a big disparity in temperature between there and Newark, which is far enough inland that you're away from that cool water influence. So that's why today we had about a seven, eight degree difference in temperature between JFK and Newark. Now tonight it's going to be humid with just a little chance for a, a leftover shower. Most of us are just going to be warm and muggy and you might feel a little bit of that mist when you're stepping out the door, but it's not going to cool us down. It's going to be very muggy. A stray shower might pop up tomorrow, but most of us do stay dry. And then the same thing on Monday. It continues to get hotter. It continues to get more humid. Just how hot and humid is it going to be when you factor those two things together? This is what it's going to feel like over the next couple of days. Right around noon tomorrow, feeling like 92 in the city, 88 in Newburgh, 93 in Princeton. Gets even hotter on Monday, feeling like 94 in Midtown, 93 in Newburgh, 81 in Bridgeport. Again, that water influence. The worst of it looks to be Tuesday. Have you seen numbers like this yet this season? Feeling like 101 in Midtown, not pleasant at all. 98 in Belmar when you factor in that humidity. It's going to be a tough one to be outside basically every afternoon through at least the middle of the work week. So tomorrow we don't officially reach heat wave status in the city with a high of 88, but some spots, maybe even LaGuardia, definitely Newark hitting 90 degrees tomorrow. Just a slight chance for a shower. So nothing to deter you from hitting the ballpark tomorrow. If you want to see the Mets take on the Phillies again, maybe pull out another victory like they did. 86 degrees at first pitch, seventh inning stretch, still 86, just that slightest chance for a shower. Make Make sure you have the sunscreen and don't just drink beer. Make sure you get some of those non alcoholic beverages as well when you're heading down to the ballpark in your seven day forecast. Tomorrow is a big pride day as well, so make sure you stay hydrated that high of 88 and then we head to the 90s. Kaidi, no relief until at least Thursday.